Well, hi, I'm Rich, WB5YBZ, and a friend of mine, N5ID, was telling me about Web SDR. Now, I haven't seen it, but some of my friends said, oh, yeah, I've heard about that. But what's so neat is I'm going to take my 7300 and I'm going to go with the Web SDR, short uh, software defined radio, on the web and just see how strong I'm coming in, let's say, to California. Sounds like a fun thing. Let's just go on over to the computer and thanks so much for watching. What we want to look for, just Google Web SDR. And here you see the Web DR organization. It has hundreds, well, 188 servers. So if you look on down, you can just see different ones. And it's, it's amazing how many they have. Now, if you go scroll all the way down the bottom, you'll see a maps here of all the different ones. And you can just sort of use your, your mouse, your, your scroll roller, or whatever you want to call it, and you can enlarge the maps and see which stations. If you click on them, this only is a VHF dipole. This one has more frequencies, and you just go along and just see which ones has the best one. Now you can either here go this and go to the website, or you can go up above. Let's see, is that number? That's number 40. Let's go on up to 40 and I'll just show you. It's using a half white dipole. He's in, they're in Georgia. So let's just go on over here and click this. Notice it's a, on a, I guess a very high frequency here. We want to go to 20 meters. And we want to put it on 14 point, or not point, don't make, make sure you don't put one point here. Just 14, one, one six zero. You want 20 meters and you want a sideband. One of the things that you need to know is you, you're gonna say, well, I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Well, you have to hit, well, let me show you something else. If your transceiver is hooked up to your computer, you wanna make sure that your speaker's here and not on Kodak, okay? Just a little FYI. Then you go to Chrome Auto Start, and there it is. If you notice this little, I'm gonna turn this down. If you notice this little yellow thing here, this is this is just sort of showing you uh, where your frequency set. Mine's at 160 right here, and you can also scroll up. And naturally they quit talking but you can listen to different ones you can adjust your or if you want to mute it for a little bit you can mute it um, let's see here I'm trying to tune in and it's really hard to do Not sure what it seems like as I'm tuning these in. And you can actually go up so many hertz. So if you want to go up 10 hertz, 10 kilohertz, you can go up 10 kilohertz or down 10 kilohertz. And I'm on a 60, enter, and it's back down here to 160. So let's go transmit and see what happens. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? This is WB5, my BZ.
all in all, this is a fun software that you can find online that you can listen to your signal. You can check your strength out, see how strong you are. And it's you can see in different locations how strong you are. And also how, if you want to, I guess, you could listen to see how your audio sounds as well. With that, I'll say 73s and thanks again for watching.